The Harper government is being accused tonight of going too far in its quest to cut spending and setting the stage for a showdown with public sector unions. The latest budget bill gives the government sweeping new powers to steer negotiations with unions at Crown Corporations. And as Jacques Bourbeau reports, the opposition argues it violates the government's own policy of remaining at arm's length. The last time they went on strike, postal workers were doing battle with the management of Canada Post. But the next time there's a labour dispute, their fight will be with the federal government. That's because in its newest budget bill, the federal the, uh, government is giving itself the power to dictate what Crown Corporations can offer when they negotiate wages and benefits with their employees. The government is responsible for the financial management of the Crowns. Uh, they're responsible uh, to Parliament, all of them are, for their financial operations. The recent federal budget lays out the Conservatives' game plan. Ottawa is already trimming civil service pensions, raising the age of retirement from 60 to 65, and moving them to a 50-50 share of pension contributions. And it wants to do the same to the pensions of Crown Corporation employees. Finally, we're starting to see some rigor in the federal government to ensure that all civil servants, whether they work for the government directly or through a Crown Corporation, that they would be held to the same standard. Taking charge of labour negotiations virtually guarantees some bitter fights. Now it will be a political negotiation. So, and we have to prepare this political negotiation. And maybe the first step to prepare this political negotiation will be to get rid of the upper government in 2015. Crown corporations occupy a middle ground between government and the private sector. They're owned by the state, but operate at arm's length, free from constant political control. But the NDP's leader says the new policy violates so this principle. So they can't suck and blow at the same time, which is precisely what they're trying to do on this. Either they're crown corporations and they're autonomous and they're allowed to negotiate and set things on their own, or they're not. But the Conservatives say this is a necessary step. Taxpayers expect us to keep costs under control so that we can keep their taxes down. It is for those taxpayers that we work, mm -hmm. not for union bosses. A commitment that when it comes to trimming costs, all federal employees will be treated the same. Jopper Bo, Global News, Ottawa.